I recently bought this 10 inch dovetail saddle plate uh, from Astrophysics and it is made for the D style uh, dovetail plate or the V style. So the Last Mandy, the D style or the Vixen, the V style uh, dovetail plates. And this particular saddle is their Dove DV10, D-O-V-E DV10. It replaces the uh, former D-O-V-E LM2. This is very interesting in its design. As you can see... Not only does it clamp on the smaller intersection, which is the V-style Vixen, you'll see that here it'll clamp on the wider D-style. Okay, let's put a D style or the V style dovetail plate in here. And obviously, if it was longer or you placed it differently you would get two to three clamps on it. And here's a plate that goes into the D style. And it has three locking knobs. And you can also use a uh, Allen head uh, hex wrench, 3 16 if you want to torque it down just a little bit more. Now the design is interesting here. The mechanism. So we'll take the knob off. And you can see it includes a brass washer. And you'll notice that it's offset here so that this mechanism, the dovetail locking device, it can't rotate. Okay, so there is no other thing required. You don't need to have any kind of a spline in here or anything uh, to keep it from rotating. It can't. And there's your spring in there. Keep tension on it. And here's your dovetail clamp. Very nice.
And let's take a look at the back side. So to save weight, it's been hollowed out in areas that uh, don't require the material. And anybody that uh, owns astrophysics equipment, be it mounts, telescopes, accessories, they know the exquisite machining that goes into each and everything they do. I'm always amazed. Just uh, spectacular. And I bought this for a little project I've got going on. My next thing I want to do is I'm going to be using this saddle for my um, Astrophysics 130 GTX and I'm going to put it on my 1600 mount <clears throat> and uh, do a side-by-side -side with my 175 uh, refractor from Astrophysics. So that's, that's the project. That's why I bought this.